Dana Draws. Hi, my name is Kurt and this is my studio. Well, today I'm going to show you how to draw step by step a chipmunk. This guy's cute. He's sitting on a log with his back to us and he's holding an acorn. I think you're really gonna like this. Come on, let's get to drawing. All right, first thing we're going to do is to draw an oval for his head. And then we're gonna come down with a straight angle. And a nice sweeping curve off the back. And then the bottom of his body, we want it to be straight because he's sitting flat on this piece of wood here. Let's get this inside slight curve here. This is the, f the uh, twist in his body. On the left side of his head, let's draw a straight line here. This will give us a little bit of contrast with the rest of his head. And then we're gonna draw his eye line coming around the side and a center line to where his nose will go. When I draw things that animals or things are going to hold, I usually draw the object first and then draw the hand and then the arm. I do it because this kind of helps me to determine where things are going. So in this case, I've drawn the nut first. This is gonna be a round oval. Then I drew a little square for his hand or a small rectangle. And then I drew his arm and the top part of his arm is a straight line and the bottom part of his arm is a nice curve. This creates contrast. Let's get a nice V here for his nose and a slight smile. Adding his eye. I noticed just through watching chipmunks and looking at some photos, they have cute little ears, so we don't want to make these too big. Whoa! Hey, if you're liking this video, go down there and give me a thumbs up. You got this. Let's go ahead and add his tail in here. It's resting on top of the wood stump. Let's work in his hind leg and I when you draw the hind leg you want to get where that knee joint is so the top part you want to make relatively flat and then come on down with a quick curve. Now let's add a couple stripes to his back. Chipmunks, I noticed, seem to have two stripes of white. Let's get a stripe that goes around his eye. And a center stripe going down the top of his head. Remember, this is an underdrawing, so we want to make sure that you are drawing this relatively light. Once you, once you get your underdrawing in, you can then go back in with a, uh, a darker pen or, or push down harder on the pencil that you might be using. But always, always start your drawing off with a light underdrawing. This is the top part of the acorn. And here comes my stump, and you want to uh, draw it uh, with a squiggly line. This is gonna add a lot of interest to the sides of it as we uh, add thickness to it. And these little thickness lines, you want them all to be about the same length. And watch closely here. We're gonna follow that curve follow that curve. These should follow the curve on top, right above it. 
So this would be a great time to pause the video if you need to um, and just kind of get caught up. Adding some surface lines here. This helps tell us which direction this stump is growing. And some rings in the wood and I'm just kind of following the outside line there to get my shape. Well that brings us up to the end here and I have put the final drawing on the left hand side. You could see what I've done and copy it and then if you so choose you could color it. All right I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.